Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Game Command. We're going to back for another Let's Play here. Uh, this is Minecraft Dungeons. I had it, and I felt like playing it. Um, I played a little bit of it, so I know what's going on with it. At least, like, you know, the controls and stuff. But I couldn't record it because my last, you know, I up recently upgraded my Veracruz card. Remembered I had this game, and was like, hey, why don't I start recording it on Mondays um, as a new Let's Play? Uh, I'll still do, like, the mod pack. Maybe I'll bring that back to Wednesdays. Maybe I'll keep it. Uh, I stated before th that I'll keep everything Minecraft related on Mondays, which I'll probably still do. But I think for now, because I'm kind of bored of vanilla Minecraft, so that's modern Minecraft, I think this will be the new, like, let's play for, Mon for Mondays. But they're not going to be long videos. They're just going to be 20 minute videos, maybe 30 minute videos. Um, so, yeah. I also want to apologize for no Vampire Let's Play. I just. It's not that I, it's not that I don't want to play it. It's just every time I go to play it, I, like, have to. I, um. Have other things come up basically, and so I have no time to play them on Saturdays. So yeah. And for some reason, the video isn't. One sec. Current profile, player. It's English. Off. It's on my default. It turns off here. Yeah, continue. I make it a little brighter by like four. It was a time of great adventure and danger. Shunned by his kin, an illager wanders the land seeking a new home. But all he found was hatred. Driven by rage against those who wronged him, he wandered blind to whatever end. Until at long last, the Illager found something that would change him forever. The Orb of Dominance. by evil, driven by vengeance, the arch illager made all bow before him. And if they did not bow, they would fall. The illagers raided the land. Who would have the valor? The purity of heart to stand against the arch villager's reign of terror. Well, not that one. Sorry about that, um, my mic was picking up background noise, and so I had to mute my mic, and that's why the auto got cut it out, my bad. Um, yeah. Now I have to pick a character. I don't know who I picked, actually. When I played before. Hmm. Well, I guess I can just go through. And see which one I, I like, basically. I kind of like this guy. This guy kind of looks... Nice. No, he kinda looks like me, kind of. <laughs> a little bit. Ah. Uh, hmm. I'm hoping I can put this game in like a window player so that way I can like uh record it without it any like alting tabbing um issues. I think I'll go with this character just because he kinda looks like me. Um Obviously, obviously, I don't have green eyes, but like, the hairstyle's the same. I do wear these type of shirts on occasion. Kind of. And it doesn't look like completely ridiculous like this guy over here, if you see my mouse. So, yeah, this is my character. They did good with, the, with I will say they did good with the skins, though. It's gonna look cool. And I like the diversity of skins. The other character to go for is this one. 
but I don't like the orange. I feel like the orange pops out too much. So I'll go with that one. Uh, two more players to local play. Yes. S settings. Can I? I'll be right back in a sec. Alright, I'm back. I fixed it. Uh, I have it now in window mode. Also, there's an auto mute in this game, basically, and that's what happens when you basically just your toggle where, where the sound plays when you basically alt tab. That's a cool fe feature. I do have the music on, but I have it on like 2%. Alright, it was 6, but now I'm putting it 2 because I can still hear the music kind of. So the music is in the background, but I don't think it's loud enough to, um, hopefully, loud, loud enough to cause issues. I mean, I think I should honestly just turn off the, uh, I'm gonna just turn off the music just in case. Because this music is probably gonna get copyrighted, so. Um, oh, I forgot to do one thing, sorry. Just display graphs and advanced and V-Sync, which will basically cap the, the frame rate at 128, I hope. So I think everything else is fine. Uh, to an offline game, because I don't want to play online. Um, now I don't know about hero settings. Well, I don't know what that means. I didn't click on it. The village is burning. No doubt this is the work of the evil arch illager and his minions. They sweep across the land like a ravenous scourge, subjugating or destroying all in their path. This is a time for heroes like yourself. Make haste. The villagers have need of you. I right, hope I can do a settings change here quickly. So I'll be right back in a sec. Sorry about this. Alright, uh, I fixed it. I put it in VSync, which basically just caps it at 60, or maybe a little bit above 60. So I turned up VSync, so now we actually have 120 frames. I'll leave that FPS counter up there because I want to know how much frames I get in this game. Obviously, I could put it higher. I have it capped at 120. But, anyways, yeah, let's, let's continue on. Who do we start? I guess we travel to it's kind of very it's very skyrimy where like you travel off of the boat. Uh follow navigation marker, okay, which is the little icon up there. Defeat the zombie. Oh. Huh. Easy. Oh. That thought Okay, so you can't we move with the arrow key, but I always Maybe later on, because I swear there's a way to like, there's a way to like, um, spin your camera around to see other stuff. So we got a nice little HUD, you got your health in the middle, you got potions, you got a map, and you got your three items. Inventory, arrows, which is right click, and space bar, which is your, uh, dodge. You can like, do a little roll, barrel, which is cool. Oh, I gotta pay attention to the game. Hoi. Obviously, there is secrets, or going to be secrets in this game and stuff as you play, but this is like the intro area, so. No secrets yet. <sighs> Sorry, got a sneeze. I will apologize if you hear any pecker noise. I can't fix that. Uh, oh, we get errors. Nice. So auto bow. Obviously, you can upgrade your sword, armor, bow, like Minecraft. No secrets. The thing is, this game is, is being recorded at 60 FPS, but the video looks a little laggy. For some reason, the recording on my end, but it's shouldn't be. Oh, oh. Took some health damage. It's fine. Got some money. Some moolah. Oh. 
Take some more item damage, that's bad. Oh, it's spicy. Which will drink alcohol regen. Yeah, food. There's no like food health bar thing, there's just regeneration. When you eat and stuff, and you obviously have a potion. Uh, let's just do your inventory. You level 1, basic sword, which will show you the stats here, power, speed, that. You also have uh, an enhancements, which you can upgrade, but oh, but you don't have any uh, upgrade points. And then you get your bow, which again has enhancements, power, and speed ammo, or enchantments on enhancements. Actually, is that? Yeah, enchantments. And yeah. And this game was made on the, on, the, on the Unreal Engine, which is crazy to me. Like a Minecraft game made on the Unreal Engine. A little laggy for some reason. Wait. Oh no! Yeah, it's real. Oh. Yeah, me dying with my own stupidity. Look enough, you heal when you level up at least. Now it wants me to open my inventory and select an enchantment for your gear. Uh, enemies you you defeat have a chance of dropping emeralds. Enemies defeated after defeating a mob, there is a 10% chance of increasing your attack speed by 50 for a short time. Go with the money one. I'd say go for, and also by the way, it's, oh, you can only enchant an item once, so now I can't enchant this again, so the next one I'm going to get is probably like one of these ones, which is, do you increase damage against already wounded enemies, or increase damage against un the undead, so. So only one enchantment, that's why there's three slots, so you have three different. Oh. They're called artifacts. Right click to use an artifact. You equipped it. These are basically three. You have sword, bow, armor, and then you have three different um, usable items. Which you would, you know, select with one, two, and three. There you go. That's how you do that, by the way. Simple jumping parkour. Um, now this video, I think we'll, these videos will be there too long because I'll go for this first video. Is, um. I'll go until basically I can save because I don't think you can actually save in game. It's an auto save feature or a uh, save at like certain areas type of situation. I think. I just want to be careful. Yes, okay. Yes. Okay, so yeah, firework, it uses up an arrow. It's, it's basically like a firework rocket type of thing. You were too late to rescue the villagers, but don't fret. They're still out there somewhere waiting for a hero to find them. Cool, cool. Although this isn't too loud, hopefully the game and the audio level is good. Again, I don't really know. Ooh, got a chest. The trust size companion of any true avenger, the fishing rod is useful for more than just fishing. Just now we're back at home base, basically. You know, self is just. There's a sheep up there. I think, yeah, I, th I don't think I'm gonna. It's only been 15 minutes. Uh, this is. Well, I guess we'll check it out. The tower, yes, you have 
It starts with minimum gear deployed. Basically, it's um return all return all allies of an stronghold. Okay, interesting. So you have like the map, which is all the areas. We are leave a stronghold. I actually don't know where we are. Captured merchants. Oh, cool. Cool, cool. Where are we on this map, actually? Mm -hmm. I guess we're there. Like, here. Tower on here. I want to just read this to you guys. Um, it changes every couple days. 2,000, apparently. I... Yeah. The mobs do not drop loot, but each floor has an item or one for the tower. Avatar. Fish the tower will road you... You go on... Basically, what it does is you basically go as, like, this, like ghost character version and basically you don't lose any of your actual gear you be it's a it's a way of of kind of like survive it's a survival mode i i i'm trying to explain it to you i'm hard about explaining it but um but here let, we'll do a single run for the rest of the video and then cut it there it's a way to extra upgrade your stuff basically without com doing more of the storyline so if you want to like Advanced. It's kind of like if you play. I know it's gonna sound weird, but if you played um, Destiny, and in Destiny, the game Destiny wanted to, you have uh, the ability to do like extra side quests or any game that is quest. You have you can do side quests to get like a better, better gear or same amount of gear or whatever. It's kind of that situation. It's the best way I can explain it to you. Damage already, it's bad. I should probably use my arrows more often. Oh, that was. Oh, got an end this potion. Three lives, three attempts. Oh, that was a bad idea. I messed that one up. You really should use your dodge to dodge out of the way. But you do re heal, so it's fine. So I think this is the tower, like one variation of it. Nope. I have no clue what's going on, by the way. Oh, this is, oh that's what we're hearing. Oh, the guy up there. This, this thing. Oh, so I get all of this? If I complete this floor. Gotta watch the stuff. Yeah, I know. A potion, I think it recharges over time, as you saw. Ah, what? Hmm. Weird ass sounds. Hmm. No, okay, so that's how you continue the camp. Ah. Uh, yeah, we'll go. See, I don't know. If I... Okay, so I see. So yeah, I got that stuff that I showed before from the other camp, and now I'm getting this stuff in this camp. I'll do one more floor, and then we'll call it there. Obviously, the floors get harder and harder. I mean, that floor is pretty kind of hard, but not only because I messed it up, really. 
me. No. Maybe that's what I'll do. If ever the video's short, I'll just do that. I'll do like a uh, tower floor, which I'm hoping I can go directly to the actual tower. I th I'm assuming you can go directly to like the tower that like you haven't completed. New shot for him. That's cool. Invis potion. Uh, I gotta defeat more people. There you go. Okay, I think I did that. It's really cool, though. It's a really cool idea, this tower, because it's like... It gives the player something else to do besides the main storyline. So yes, we completed the tower, so now I think I can return. And I think that's like a checkpoint. Uh, totem, the uh, thing, thing, I'm going to call it a totem. Check my totem, meaning a, like a checkpoint that's there. So, did I get the loot, or... Like, I don't understand fully. Okay, I didn't get anything. That's... hold on. I'm confused. Getting stuck on stuff. Also, I do think you over time um, uh, upgrade your like main camp here and such. And yeah, so it looks like you like ma upgrade your main camp. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, um. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This this has to be an area for like an air balloom, by the way. Um, sorry, random, I know. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Um, I also will try to figure out... Oh, oh there's more. Oh, okay. Oh, can change the difficulty. Which is just... The one because you know I haven't locked the other ones. Anyways, guys, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. And um, before I go, I will say I will try to forget the whole tower thing. I thought I was doing that right, but may maybe those tower items only for the tower, not actually for your character. Um, that's my guess. Or maybe I have to do something else before I can use them or something. I don't know. But yeah, anyways, guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.